What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And guys, today, honestly, uh, I got a rant video for you today. And because, honestly, i just been, like, super tight with 2K. And honestly, you guys could disagree. You could agree. I actually want to hear in the comments what you guys think. Um, so we're just going to get into it. I'm just going to honestly spit the most facts. This game is absolute trash. Um, I, if some people do enjoy it, I'm sorry. Like, this game is so ass compared to any other 2K, man. 2K20 makes this game look fucking good. Okay, so we're just gonna start off with that. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like it up, sub it up, comment down below. I, I hate ranting, but I have to just get the word out there. Um, we're gonna talk about a lot of things, and honestly, it, it hurts. It hurts to see the game be down this this bad. First off, like just everything they've just been releasing has just been getting me more angry and angry, like throughout the year. This year of 2K, views-wise, engagement-wise, everything-wise, this game is terrible. And to see the game this dead in May. Or June, I should say. It's dead in June. Last year in June, I was blowing up. I gained 13,000 subs last year, all last year, in like a couple months, you know? And to see this game, the game down bad, this down bad, I'm going to explain to why. I'm going to explain why the game is just not fun right now and why it's just trash. So, we're going to start off with a couple things and a couple things. Like, honestly, there's just a lot to talk about. I could go on and on. But listen, there's a lot of things I could talk about right now. And here it is. So, first thing, right? Playoffs have been hype. I've been loving NBA playoffs, but here it goes. Why are they releasing this kind of heat check content? This heat check content is straight ass, okay? Um, they have the old freaking Moments Tatum and the old freaking John Moran, which makes no sense, right? Um, so I just want to go off and say, what content is this, guys? This is a super pack in disguise. So here's the thing with this game. Not only are they releasing this, they're releasing out of position cards, okay? This ruins the game. And why is that? This caters to people who spend money on the game. No cap. This is it. Um, you can't make MT by actually playing the game. You can't. You could sit and play TTO for 50 hours and make freaking 100K. 100K can't even get you a Dark Matter unless you get like Chris Bosch or Ja. Okay, so this game strictly caters to the people that spend money if you look at any other game madden mlb freaking fifa when you play the game you actually get the currency needed in this game okay my shirt's green that's why it's all messed up so you could say whatever bugs you're a loser you're trash at 2k but listen not only that the gameplay online both current gen and next gen is the worst 2k gameplay i literally think ever um 2k13 nba 2k13 that you couldn't even block the ball there was literally better there was a better gameplay guys a better gameplay on 2k13 i don't know what is wrong with this game but right now it is so ass why are you dropping out of position sets so they're talking about position locks right there used to be no position locks in 2019 which is so realistic in my opinion because in the in real life bro you're gonna see Giannis play point guard you're gonna see lebron play point guard you're gonna see Le Giannis play center there should be no position locks in my opinion it makes sense um maybe if they did this if there was no position locks maybe their stats go down a little bit if they do change positions have they ever thought of that probably not so they haven't thought of that obviously because they're terrible but anyways so we got the freaking packs. Not only are the packs so catered to people who spend VC, nobody wants to spend money at this time of the game. So they're just releasing packs. Like, they're not releasing anything else. They're releasing packs. And not only that, the challenges they release, nobody wants to do these. Do you guys really want to spend hours grinding for something that doesn't matter? You know, I'm going to spend hours grinding for these 98 no names. Like, who's Chris Morris? Who's Eddie? I know Eddie Johnson, but like these cards, they're not big names. We want the Lucas. We want the Kyries. We want the LeBrons. You know what I'm saying? We don't want David West. We don't want Aaron Gordon. We want Aaron Gordon. We don't want Stefan Marbury. We don't want Mike Connolly. We don't want Corey Maggie because all in the end, what's going to happen? Who the hell is Michael Adams? Like, you know what I'm saying? In the end, you know what's going to happen with all these cards that I have, the 98 free cards? They're going to get bodied by a loser. This is the problem. We're going to get bodied by a loser. And this is what's going to happen. A guy who spent 500 bucks on the game, right? He's going to have the LeBron. He's going to have this. He's going to have that. He's going to have the, all the dark matters, right? 
So my free team, no name team that is nowhere near as good is going to lose every single time because this kid spent way more money unless the kid is absolute trash. But if you're somewhat decent at the game and you have a stacked team, you're going to be kids like the people who grinded the game. These cards that grind, no one likes Greg Oden. He was a bust. Why would they have him as a reward? Okay. Glenn Robinson was good, but he wasn't amazing. Who the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? A bunch of no-names. Xavier Medaniel. No one wants to grind for these cards. They're not usable. They're usable, but they're not named. We want names. So what they did now, they knew some bullshit was happening. So since playoffs are out, they released a shitty moments cards that nobody likes. Okay, They, re they literally re-release cards. So not only that, you're bringing the current day NBA players that are amazing to shit tier level, which is absolutely insane. Um, which gets me super tight. Chris Paul, like, they're going to release the throwback Chris Paul impacts. So they're going to release another Chris Paul. They are releasing too many of the same freaking cards. Like, why are you releasing 15 Lillards? And honestly, another one is, one of them was grinded for by collecting cards. And guess what? You, the one that you grinded for collecting cards is straight dog shit. So right now, all around. Gameplay wise, challenges wise, there's no way to make MT unless you're sniping. There's just no, there's nothing. This game is just not good. Has anybody else realized this? Out of position two, money grab, dude. The super packs, VC only, money grab. If you're not pop, you can't pop them unless you're spending money. Um, heat check, an absolute money grab with not even good players, not even usable players. Kyrie's not usable because of LeBron. Jaw's not usable. And Tatum's just, he's okay. You know what I'm saying? Th this whole entire set is just a money grab because people want to pop current day plaques. But, like, people that have brains would never spend money on these packs because, you know why? This is an absolute money grab. And these cards aren't even good. Joel and Embiid hard and they're all going to get freaking Dark Matters. So, like, why would I spend money on Kyrie and Ja and then Tatum? And Tatum's not even that expensive. So like all around guys, the content. Why is everyone saying the content's good this year? The content is so bad this year. Stop giving them, they're, it's not good content. This is not good content. We have single freaking player challenges that suck. Nobody wants to play them. We have to grind hours to get one no name freaking dark matter that nobody wants. And then like, cool, Julius Randle's awesome. I'll take Julius Randle because he's a current day beast. He's been most improved player. Yes, the Knicks are getting smacked, but like it does make sense. So I will take that, but yeah. I don't know. The rant's long. I just want to hear what you guys think in the comments. I'm just done with this content, dude. This is just not the 2K I want to play. The gameplay sucks. Everything all around, in my opinion, it's just like a blah. It's just blah, blah, blah. That's how I feel. I want to hear how you guys feel in the comments. Anyways, I'm sorry for the rant. Have a good one, boys. Peace.